In this video, I'm going to review the RestoreX device. I'm also going to go ahead and do a demo of how to use it, some tips and tricks, and I will review its competition and its studies. It's going to be a very informative video, so let's get started. Okay, so first I want to go over a little bit of my story. So RestoreX was actually the first device that I used. I personally do have uh, Peyronie's. Now, most of it is pretty much resolved. I would say I'm functionally and aesthetically cured of it. Uh, and a lot of it is thanks to the RestoreX device. Uh, so to me, my injury happened, uh, it was like over like about two and a half years ago, almost three years ago. And I started to do traction with the Restorex device about three months after the injury. Um, I was still experiencing a little bit of pain, but I think the pain mostly had subsided. Um, and the Restorex device, you know, did wonders. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, it helped me restore it like lost length. I had lost about half an inch and even regain uh, gain a little bit of length over that. So I, I gained, I think if I remember correctly, about half an inch on top of that. Uh, I used it for about six months altogether. And I did the, the recommended uh, three, well, three times a day, about 30 minutes uh, each session, each session. So about an hour and a half um, every day. And um, and so I have a lot of lot of experience with it, and I'd say it's it's a good device, and um, also a lot of personal experience. Okay, so first of all, let's do a little bit of review. So what is Restorex? So Restorex is essentially a traction device uh, for the penis. It was invented by a doctor, a physician who has a lot of experience with Peyronie's disease, um, and it was specifically invented for the treatment of Peyronie's. It also has been used for penile lengthening in the case of chronic illnesses such as diabetes or other uh, diseases like um, like prostate cancer when uh, guys have a pro prostatectomy. Uh, it also has a few studies, so there's a few studies. Granted, they were paid by the companies, but uh, most studies are paid for by the companies that the study is about. <clears throat> Uh, some of the some of the advantages of the Restorex, according to their website, is less treatment time in comparison to their competition. There's something I'll review a little bit uh, later on in the video. Uh, you can also do angle traction. So in the case of Peyronie's, it means that you have a deviation or a curvature in the penis, and you can actually treat and potentially fix that with this device. It's also made in the USA by Pathrite Medical. And it's actually pretty fairly expensive. It costs about five hundred and twenty-five dollars. So I had to save up a little bit to say, uh, to get this device uh, when I first got it. Okay. So next, I want to do a demonstration on how to use this device. This will give you a nice overview on how it works, some of the tips and tricks, and in case you get it, how how you can use this device. So it comes in this box right here. So this is my device, my own personal device that I have used for over two years. Um, now I only really used it for about six months. I use it sparingly um, after that. So it has the clamping mechanism, which is right here. Uh, and then it has the traction rods right here, it has a spring. So this is like a spring that you can activate. Um, and then from here, this is the base. This goes on your pelvis and you can change the angle uh, based on when you attach the rods here. In order to set up the device, you will need a screwdriver. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is um, detach the this rod. So you just push this little thing right here and then you can um, essentially take this off. You take this off and there's gonna be two screws here. You can use a screwdriver to take them off and you're gonna set up the rods. Um, by default, it comes with the shorter rods. I'm using here the longer rods here. So if you're between 3.75 and 6.25 inches, you can use the small rods. If you're between 6.25 and 9 inches, uh, you can use the longer rods. So you may not need to use uh, you may not need to change out the rods if 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 the if you're between if you can use the small rods. Um, and if you're below 3.75 or above 9 inches, then you really can't use the Restorex, unfortunately. You're also going to uh, want to change where these rods go in here in this uh, base base part. So here, this is set up for a dorsal curvature, meaning a curvature that goes up. You can use this different size, depending if you have the side curvatures. Or you, can, you can use the top one to treat a curvature that goes downward or a ventral curvature. So you're going to want to change that and set it up depending on your type of curvature. If you don't have a curvature, just leave it at the bottom and you can just do a straight out traction. Next, you're going to want to uh, set up the other part. So um, so the first thing is, that depending on where in the penis is your curvature, you're going to want to adjust um, it's this little screw, screws here where there's three, basically three notches that you can use here. And that basically is going to dictate 
where this is gonna um, you know where this is gonna be on the penis so if your curvature is closer to the base uh, you're gonna adjust it such that this is all the way to the bottom and if your curvature is closer to the glands you're gonna adjust it so that this part here is closer to the top to this part here okay so you're gonna want to set that up you're gonna need a screwdriver to take off these two screws and you're gonna adjust this depending on that uh, depending also on the size of your gl the glance of your penis, you can also uh, take this part off. There's like a little a little thing here, and you can take this off, and you can um, use a screwdriver also to take off the screws and adjust this. So if it's uh, if it's not clamping or if it's not giving you enough room, you can basically adjust it so that uh, so you can accommodate the size of your glance of your penis. Okay, so now you have the the Storix device all set up. You're gonna reinsert the rods here, and you can just press this and insert it okay you're going to want to uh, engage like contract the springs here so it's at the shorter shortest position okay so get that ready you're also going to need this um, coban wrap the self adhesive uh, co coban wrap uh, you can buy this on amazon it, there's also some that comes with the device pretty cheap just get a bunch of them uh, and you're going to cut out a piece a lot of it depends on your girth but you're going to cut out a piece about about this long give or take you're going to take your scissors you're gonna cut it okay so here's a piece that I cut off next you're gonna take the penis now keep in mind I'm using this dildo but you have to um, do this while your penis is flaccid not erect you know the, I have uh, I would have to get a much smaller dildo to represent a uh, flaccid penis so just keep that in mind that you're doing this in a flaccid penis um, so what you're gonna do is if you have foreskin make sure you peel back the foreskin before you do this so you peel back the foreskin do not apply the wrap over the foreskin so you let's say here with one hand you're pulling back the foreskin you're gonna take the tape and you're going to apply it first at the bottom so you're gonna apply it like this okay and you're just gonna go at the bottom first then you're gonna go again in the middle between the ridge of the glands and the shaft and then once again in that same spot it's gonna look like this okay so you're essentially gonna cover up this part of the glands and a little bit of the shaft here next is the clamping <coughs> So what you're gonna want to do is um, you're gonna disengage this little knot, this little thing here, this little lever. And take take it off. You're gonna open up the clamp like so. Okay. You're gonna put in uh, your penis here. You're gonna put it in. And what's very, very, very important. This part is very important. Is that this little ridge? There's a little ridge here on the top. You see here, and even on the bottom as well here. Um, the ridge of the glands has to be right beyond that you see here so when you're clamping the ridge has to be inside the ridge of the glands has to be inside the clamp and so the shaft is just going to be right outside you see here is very important i'm going to try to show you in a different angle here so you see this ridge here okay okay you're going to stretch it so that this clamps down and you're basically pulling the penis from this ridge here okay it's very important don't put that ridge outside uh, don't put it too deep inside like this this is this ridge is basically has to be against this ridge right here of the device of the clamp now unfortunately this dildo is too thick so I cannot clamp it down uh, without messing up my device which I don't want to do but that's essentially how you wrap up and you clamp the device and uh, now uh, in order to clamp you're basically going to push in this little this little thing here you do it before you start to clamp down uh, make sure you're in a fully flaccid state uh, if you have an erection, you're gonna have to wait. Just wait it out. Think unsexy thoughts, right? Um, and then you put it. We're gonna put it in, and then you're gonna start clicking it. Uh, you're gonna make sure like the foreskin is pulled back. You don't want to grab foreskin. One, two, three. Ideally three. Okay. Uh, if it's too painful, you may just want to do two. But ideally, it's three clicks, and that's gonna give you a nice, nice hold. If you feel that it's too loose or too tight, uh, again, you may want to adjust, adjust. Uh, the clamp hide itself by using this the screwdriver, the screwdriver as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so now you have it on. This is at a shorter position. Um, you're gonna en just engage it here. This is gonna be a against your your pelvis here, and then you're going to start. Um, you're going to essentially disengage you, you, the springs. Engage the springs rather. So you do this by pushing down here. That's going to engage the springs. Okay. And then you're going to push out from here. You're going to push out. It's going to click one, right, two, three. And the more you, the more you, um, the more clicks that it goes, the more tension you're applying. And you have to be within the the the, the treatment zone. The treatment zone is basically just this white line. Just barely has to be visible. Just like that, barely visible. Okay. Once you know your that line is visible, you're you're in the good treatment zone. 
as the the tissues of the penis basically relax then the the white line is going to be even more visible so make sure that as that happens you apply more tension by doing more clicks and stay within this treatment zone this basically actually the white line has to be a little bit out of you a little bit out of you that's where you want to be and this dynamic uh applying of the clicking is actually what's key uh to why this device is effective because again as the uh, penile tissues uh stretch and relax uh you're going to want to stay at a, at a very exact amount of traction in the case of the restorix uh being in that in that uh treatment zone is about about five to six pounds of, of tension of traction uh, so that's what you want to target make sure you follow the the manual for uh, it has a pretty good uh, plan uh, a good treatment plan for you um, so make sure you use it no more than like 30 maybe 45 minutes absolutely maximum uh, for one session take a break of at least 30 minutes before you do the next session you can do up to three sessions of this uh, a day uh, once you're done you remove the remove the wrap from the penis uh, and put it away uh, make sure that this is disengaged so uh, you can push this all the way in and make sure this is not collapsed make, because that puts too much strain on the on the springs make sure it's disengaged like this so it's nice and loose and that basically makes it last a little bit longer okay what's also interesting is that there's some studies for the restorix device as well let's look at some of those um, so there's, there's several studies there's basically one for Peyronie's disease for three months one for six months one for using injections of uh, Xiflex Another one for lengthening uh, when a patient has a prostatectomy, uh, and then for lengthening when a patient has um, diabetes. So let's look at the six month data, which is how much I used it for. Uh, and essentially, let's look at um, what's the what's the most interesting. So here we can see that um, most of the curvature changes actually happen in the first three months. So as we can see, like curv uh, fixing the curvature is actually uh, kind of challenging, even though, even if you put more time into it. Uh, but I have another video into how you can actually work on that. In any case, just for a Storix device here, uh, for people that used it for men that used it for uh, six months, the average uh, the average curvature improvement at six months was 15 degrees or 21 percent. So if your curvature is of around 15 degrees. Uh, it will be completely resolved if it's like you know about 30 degrees this will basically go about halfway and can make you know can make the difference between not being able to have sex and needing to do a operation such as plication and being able to have sex comfortably without losing length without uh, plication now what's more interesting here is that the average length increase was two centimeters at six months which is very very uh, significant uh, and this is when people were only using it for about uh, 45 minutes a day uh, this were uh, very much in part with the results that I saw was about a little bit over two centimeters I was using it for uh, an hour and a half every day. So I was very diligent uh, And I used it for about six months. So this was in part So the more you use it you gotta be careful though because with the clamping you're basically cutting off circulation to the glands of the penis So you cannot do it for very long uh, in, in one period now the problem is that it doesn't really help a lot with uh, hourglass or indentation. So, um, so uh, the results show that an average of 13 degrees of curvature uh, compared to baseline. Uh, so here, basically, uh, now indentations or hourglass is a little bit different to measure. Can't really measure it, but essentially they asked the man how much did Restorix improve your indentation or hourglass deformity. We saw that 43% said a very small, 50% uh, medium, and 7% um, said large. So this is because hourglass deformity is very difficult to treat. Uh, I would say that you should use a vacuum erection device to really treat uh, an hourglass deformity. Uh, another thing that I've seen recommended is essentially you can use the Restorix uh, to basically kind of um, do angle traction. So you can do like, you know, one treatment towards here, the other treatment towards there. And just over time, that, that should be able to kind of pop out uh, the indentations. But in general, hourglass is very difficult to treat, even with the Restorix. But that's something that you can try as well. Now, there's another study where they use uh, the Restorix with Xiflex. So Xiflex is a collagenous. Basically, they're injections that they can use to break up the scar tissue. And so basically, they wanted to test whether um, they wanted to test Xiflex injections alone versus Xiflex injections with the Restorix device. Uh, so regarding length improvements, Cyclex alone did not resu result in any improvements in length. However, when patients use Restorix along with injections with the Cyclex, they experience a nearly two centimeter gain in length, or about 17%, which is very very significant. So this kind of uh, gives us a theory, or approves some of the theory that if you can weaken the collagenous, the collagen via collagen uh, via a col collagenous uh, compound. 
and then you can apply traction to this and this can el elongate the penis so this is basically proven here by this rhetoric study then there's a couple other studies for lengthening so let's look at these um so this this one is a study that basically a uh, controlled trial of men who underwent prostatectomy basically men are randomized to the tr receive no treatment or rhetoric for five months uh beginning one month after prostatectomy after six months uh, the men are allowed to freely use the device or do nothing for an additional three months. So following prostatectomy, the problem is that many men uh, report decreases in penile length, right? Uh, so basically when uh, people or guys have uh, prostate cancer and they have to do a prostatectomy, meaning they have to go and remove the prostate, uh, their penis is going to shorten. And they, they, this is because of the ED, because of um, damage to the nerves, and also sometimes because of the... Um, trauma to the urethra. So the results is basically results from the study demonstrate that this basically um, increased the penile length in those men. So in this case, it was about 1.6 centimeters with the Restorix in men um, with this uh, that had the prostatectomy. Then another study, lastly, is where they looked at uh, men that had diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes. Uh, they were treated with uh, nothing for um, or Restorix for three months. So here, the, basically, the results here is only for one month, uh, for three months. We saw that uh, on average, men with uh, diabetes, which basically they have erectile dysfunction, right, uh, saw a decrease of penile length of about 0.3 centimeters. And keep in mind, like the more the longer that you're not getting erections, the shorter your penis will become. Uh, whereas if they were using the Restorix device, they actually saw an increase of one centimeter. And this is only for three months and using it just less than 45 minutes a day. Okay, next I want to do uh, go through the comparison between the Restorix and other devices. Um, so here, basically, they compare the Restorix with the Andropenis and the Pennymaster. Uh, the Andropenis and the X4 are um, antiquated devices. You should not use these devices. Essentially, um, they, also, they use a strap to hold on to the penis and stretch it. Um, you cannot dynamically add tension, such as in this one, where you can, as I mentioned before, you can add more tension while you have the device on. Uh, and overall, it just provided better results. The Restorix provided better results. However, I think here's something that's kind of misleading is that they compare with the Pennymaster Pro when it was uh, worn about three hours or more a day. The Pennymaster Pro has to be worn that uh, um, that long. The problem with the Pennymaster Pro is that you cannot adjust the tension either while you have it on, which is why the Restorix got better results. But it is not because this is a better device. Additionally, the Pennymaster Pro doesn't do the angle traction, which you can use to treat uh, curvature. But if we're looking at just length gains, um, I think it's very misleading to say that the Restorix is better. I mean, it, by, by default, yes, I think it is better than the Pina Master Pro because the Pina Master Pro, you cannot dynamically change the, t t the tension. However, um, I think like it's a little bit misleading because if you were able to wear this device but using a vacuum chamber, which is what the Penny Master Pro uses, uh, for longer, you would get even better results right because here you're limited you're limited but because the traction is a little bit higher and it stays higher the longer it's more effective but with the penny master pro because it uses a vacuum chamber you can wear it a lot longer so let's actually look at um it's also misleading here because there actually are studies on the penny master pro in regards to peyronie's disease and so let's take a look at that okay so this is the penny master pro study into the um effectiveness effectiveness and safety of uh of using um traction therapy using the device the penny master pro um with patients with peyronie's disease <clears throat> so essentially here they uh, recruited uh patients with peyronie's disease they had them use the the penny master pro for a 12-week period so basically three months and um and so basically this these are the results so those patients that were using the device less than four hours a day they experienced a reduction of about nine in uh, on average a mean of 19.7 degrees uh which is pretty significant like if you can compare that to restorix right which was 15 degrees um but let's look at the three months data just to so that we're comparing apples to apples here so here we see that restorix after three months was a 28 percent uh change okay so i've gone ahead and dissected these studies myself it's funny because these companies kind of uh, just don't show all the data. They're very uh, selective, let's just say that, as to what they show. Um, but here I kind of put something together uh, to sort of go through the data. So let's review real quick. So for Restorex, they basically had a study. This is for three months. I'm looking at the three-month study in which the participants could wear it from anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes a day. Keep in mind that um, 
that restore access to wear for 60, but actually in the study, they told uh, participants to wear up to 90 minutes a day. They had a group that wore it for up to 90 minutes a day. The mean curvature change was of negative 17 degrees, and the mean penile length was an increase of 1.6 centimeters. They don't actually give you all the data. They don't even say what the minimum or the maximum was. They simply say that 27% of those men increased over two centimeters. That, now that could be exactly two centimeters. It could be 2.1 centimeters. We can for sure say that it's between two centimeters and three centimeters because it would have been three centimeters. I think they would have uh, said so. But, you know, they just basically don't tell you. They just say 27% was over two centimeters. So let's just give them that. Let's say 27% was over two centimeters. The Penny Master Pro was worn, worn for four hours per day, had a better curvature change of negative 19.7 degrees with four hours a day. Now, they don't, uh, you know, the Penny Master Pro study also isn't very good, to be quite honest, in terms of the data that they show. They don't actually show you the results for when worn for just four hours a day in, in terms of uh, penile length. Uh, for the Penny Master Pro, when worn for over six hours a day, basically they saw a reduction of curvature of over 38.4%. And this is just the mean, means that there was actually uh, more or less than that. So here we actually can actually see the range. So when four hours a day, it's 15 to 25 degree range. Uh, when worn uh, six hours, more than six hours, was between 20 to 50 degrees. So as you're very diligent, you actually wear it for a significant amount of time, you can actually reduce the curvature for 50 degrees. That's very, very good. Now, when it comes to the penile length, um, the mean was an increase of 1.8 centimeters. And again, they don't actually give you the full data. They don't say, um, you know, how, how many hours did you have to wear it? They do say that the more hours that you wear it, the better. And they saw ranges of 0 0.5 centimeters to 3.0 centimeters in penile length gain, right? And they do say that the longer that you wear it, the better the results. So at the very least, we see that in curvature alone, the Penny Master Pro was way, way more effective than the Restorex. And the Restorex was very selective. They don't actually show you how many, what was the maximum or how many men got the maximum. But I think I would infer here that with the Penny Master Pro, you can gain three centimeters if you wear it more than six hours a day. This was in just three months. Imagine the more you wear it, the better the results. And so as we can see, actually the Penny Master Pro had better results, much better results in the reduction of penile curvature and better results in the increase of penile length. But the big difference is that the Restorex could be worn for less amount of time, maximum of 90 minutes, whereas the Penny Master Pro had best results when people were wearing it for over six hours. And the reason for this, why, right? You may be thinking traction is traction. Well, the reason that the, the inventor says, the Restorex uh, inventor says, is because you're able to dynamically add tension while you have the device on, okay? And that's what's key. You wanna stay at this traction area, at this treatment area during that duration. And so the problem with the Penny Master Pro is that once you achieve a certain elasticity, once you apply that traction, the tissue is going to relax and you're going to lose a lot of that tension, right? You're not going to apply the same traction forces on the penis. And so you have to take the device off, add more tension, and just something that is just not generally thought. It's also a, pain, a big pain in the ass uh, to do with the Penny Master Pro. So I want to rest, uh, I want to compare the Restorex with two more devices, okay? So here I have my trusted, my old buddy, my favorite, the Total Man Rod Extender 2.0, okay? And just like the, the Penny Master Pro, this uses a vacuum chamber uh, so that you can attach to the penis. So with a vacuum chamber, you can essentially wear the device as long as you want, right, until you have to go pee. There is no cutting off or circulation, um, and it's much, much safer. I have to check out the other video that I basically will have a tutorial on how to use the Total Man Rod Extender 2.0. I have another video where I show how to use it for curvature. So essentially, the, the cool thing about this and compared to the, to the Restorex is that you can also change the tension while you have the device on. So you see these two little knobs here. Essentially, when you first put the device on, you're gonna uh, you're gonna reach a certain amount of tension, and then you're going to add tension. Also, the cool thing about this one is this can actually achieve higher tensions than both the Penny Master Pro and the Restorex. Obviously, you have to work your way up towards that, but that's what really helped me out a lot. So essentially, you're gonna put this on, you're gonna add the tension, make sure you're basically at a at a point where you're feeling some of that tension in the tissue. Now the downside is that you can you uh, it's not easily measured. You can actually measure it um, by wearing like, by using like a little weight here, and uh, you know and put you put this here. Uh, you use this little device to measure the 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 tension here. 
So you can essentially buy something like this. It's a, a portable uh, scale. Um, I just I have one. I just couldn't find it. So it's a little bit more complicated. Um, it's, um, I'll just do a brief overview. I you don't have to do this like this. Like if you really want to be scientific about it, I even I don't do this. Like I just go by feel. So I just uh, do it at a place where I feel like there's a good tension. I wear this after you know after like 10, 15 minutes. I then adjust this to add more tension. So I just go by feel. But if you want to be scientific, you can buy that portable um, that portable scale. You know, put this at a place like put it on, put it in your penis, like put this where you feel good tension, uh, and then use the use the portable scale to see where this should be at and mark it and mark it. And then um, when you're losing tension, you'll see that that's going to go beyond that mark. And so you add tension to bring it back to that mark. So it's not, you know, it's a little bit more work. I don't think it's worth it. But if you want to be scientific, you can be. Um, but ideally, it would be great if, you know, we had some way to actually measure that in with this, with the actual device, with this total man. Now, the other problem is that the total man rod extender 2.0 is actually not available anymore. So you can buy the 3.0, but with the 3.0, um, it uses like this little, this little things that you can add, uh, this little sections here to add more tension. Uh, it's nice. Like I think if, if, um, but I think it, it removes a lot of the novelty that the 2.0 had. So now you cannot just dynamically add tension to the extender while you have it on and which is going to make it a little bit less effective, uh, in my opinion, and according to the data and according to the, the comparison between the Restorix and the Penny Master Pro. So the problem with the Resto uh, with the Total Man 3.0 is that you cannot do this. So unfortunately, because of that reason, I cannot recommend the Total Man Rod Extender 3.0. So I want to talk about another device, which is called the LG Hanger Extender. So the beauty of this extender is that it's very high quality. It's more expensive, um, but you can dynamically adjust the tension, as you can see here, right? We can add tension while we have the device on, which is not something you can do with a Total Man Rod Extender 3.0. Um, and uh, it's very heavy duty, comes with a couple bases, right? Um, and you don't have to use it with the LG Hanger vacuum chamber. Uh, I, I like my LG Hanger vacuum chamber, but it's not something that I would recommend for long times of period. Um, so what we want to mimic is we want to get the best of the Restorex device and the Penny Master Pro device. That's what I'm trying to mimic here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get this LG Hanger extender. You're going to um, turn this this part. You're going to basically use this part here. Uh, and then you can go to the Total Man uh, and buy, buy this kit, the All Day Stretcher and Vacuum Hanging Kit. Essentially, this is going to give you the Total Man vacuum chamber with the sleeve and this little this little band here uh it's going to give you everything and then you can combine you can combine the lg hanger extender with the total man vacuum chamber kit and now you get the best of both worlds now as for curvature make sure you check out my other video on how you treat a, a curvature with this type of device but essentially you can just use a velcro strap um put it on and from here you're going to Pro, uh, use a, a fulcrum and then you're going to put a penis on top of that and you can uh, you can basically apply tension um, to the curvature okay so finally finally my review my final thoughts so I think the Restorex is an excellent device uh, you can absolutely get started with it you know if you have the money just go ahead and buy it um, because putting all this other stuff together takes more time okay so I absolutely recommend it it is very effective. It's gonna, it's gonna uh, get you going. Um, however, I do believe that using a vacuum chamber device, such as the Rod Extender 2.0 or the LG Hanger Extender with the Total Man vacuum chamber, is much safer and more effective as long as you increase the tension while you have it on to keep on that uh, perfect treatment at uh, that treatment zone. The other problem that I see a lot in the forums is that when you use the 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 Restorex and you use it like a really really extreme angles like this right it will fix the curvature but i've seen a lot of pictures where it actually makes an indentation on the other side of the penis unfortunately so um so yeah you don't want to you don't want to fix the curvature by then creating another indentation at the bottom so i generally do not recommend going at very extreme angles like this i would recommend just kind of you know a very mild angles and uh, and honestly, honestly, I think I much much highly recommend uh, using the strap method with the normal uh, you know rod extender with either the LG hanger or the 2.0 uh, total man rod extender. I think that has a much less chance. It's gonna it's not going to create any indentations on the opposite of the on the opposite side of the curvature. Additionally, there's some weak parts to this. I have had it break down before. Uh, so one of it were was the uh, was the springs where it basically wouldn't stay. 
in place like it wouldn't it wouldn't hold on it would just kind of always expand not a big deal i could work with it i could work with it as well uh also this little piece here uh broke so i couldn't clamp it down uh so this broke is very uh you can see it's kind of very um kind of feeble you can easily break it so i broke um luckily my device was under warranty at that time so they uh i sent it in and they actually went ahead and uh, they didn't send me a new one they just fixed it for me um which is fine you know as long as it works so those that's kind of like my my actual honest unbiased review from a device that i have used for years um but you know as i mentioned i think it's a great device i think there's a little bit of marketing gimmicks involved um, there's a lot of truth to it, but I think that if you look deeper into it, you can see that it's very compared. Like with the uh, with the Penny Master Pro, you can get better results because you could wear it longer. So the longer, the better, uh, and thus you can actually get the better, the best results by going a little bit further and actually combining the best parts of like the Total Man Rod Extender, or the LG Hanger Extender, and um, and just getting the absolute best results that you can. So there you go. That was a very, very extensive review and in-depth analysis of the Restorex device. If you learn anything from this channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, message me on Reddit. Um, you know, make a comment. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make sure to reply. And please continue to support this channel. Make sure you check out the other playlist, How to Make Your Penis Longer to Impress Girls. And check out the other videos on how to uh, fix a curvature with a penile traction device that's not the Restorex device. So I'll see you next time. Peace.